Simulating moving radar emitters is important in most test cases. RF variations at the input of the radar warning receiver due to approaching or outbound emitters is one factor that must be taken into account. The received power level depends on the antenna type and the antenna scan type of the emitter as well as the maneuvers of the radar transmitter and the receiver platform. In this scenario, a patrol aircraft, highlighted in orange, is heading east along a steady bearing. Flight paths result from predefined initial trajectories or imported waypoint files. At the map's origin, a larger aircraft, highlighted in blue, has a radar warning receiver and is turning left, with a final bearing of northeast. With four sector antennas, it achieves 360 degrees azimuth coverage. The simulator calculates the dynamic level change for each antenna according to the flight paths. The user can check the configured simulation and the resulting power level variation in a preview. The peaks in the level trace result from the raster scan. The spacing of the peaks and the received power levels change with the flight path. After connecting the DUT to the simulator, the RF signal for each receiver input is generated with the same level of realism as the simulation.